everyone, my name is Miss Ashley. I am the general music instructor here at Solon Center for the Arts. Um, today we're going to do a preschool lesson um, for ages two to five. Um, today we're going to be using our animal finger puppets, um, our drum, and our scarves. And then we're also going to get up and move a little bit as well. Um, I like to start every lesson with a hello song. So before I sing my hello song, if you're watching this, try waving hello. Or try using your other hand to wave hello. Maybe even both hands. And then try saying hello. If you're with somebody, turn to them and say hello. Alright, here we go. Sing the song. <clears throat> clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. So I'm going to sing that one more time. This time I want you to clap if you weren't already. You can try clapping in the middle, you can try clapping down low, or you can try clapping up high. I will let you choose. Ready? <clears throat> clap, clap. Finger plays. 
Um, the first one is called Johnny Had One Friend. And if you are in my preschool music class, we've been practicing this one. If you're new, then try and follow along. So we're gonna start with showing one on our finger, on our hand. Show one finger. And we're going to tap our knee while Miss Ashley sings Johnny Had One Friend. All right, here we go. Johnny had one friend, one friend, one friend. Johnny had one friend, Johnny had two. Can you show me two fingers on your hand? Nice job. Put two fingers on your knee this time. Ready? <clears throat> Johnny had two friends, two friends, two friends. Johnny had two friends. Johnny had three. Show me three fingers with your hand this time. So showing three on your hand is probably the trickiest one because it requires a lot of fine motor skill. So you could either try this one <clears throat> or if it's easier for you, you can show three like this or you can even show three like this. Whatever feels more comfortable. Miss Ashley's going to do this one. Ready? Johnny had three friends, three friends, three friends. Johnny had three friends. Johnny had four. Show me four fingers this time. Nice job. Let's tap four fingers on our knee. Ready? Here we go. Johnny had four friends, four friends, four friends. Johnny had four friends. Johnny had five. Show me all the fingers on your hand. Five fingers this time. Let's put five fingers on our knee. Ready? Here we go. Johnny had five friends, five friends, five friends. Johnny had five friends. Johnny had six. Nice. Let's go back to one. Show me one again with your finger. And if you want to challenge yourself, try the other hand this time. Miss Ashley's going to try the other hand. Ready? One finger. Johnny had one friend, one friend, one friend. Johnny had one friend. Johnny had two. Show me two fingers. Two fingers on our knee. Ready? Here we go. Johnny had two friends, two friends, two friends. Johnny had two friends. Johnny had three. Lovely. Three is the tricky one. Remember, if you want to do it this way, you can. Or if you want to do it this way, you can. Three fingers. Ready? Johnny had three friends, three friends, three friends. Johnny had three friends. Johnny had four. Four fingers this time on our knee. Here we go. Johnny had four friends, four friends, four friends. Johnny had four friends. Johnny had five. All your fingers now on our knee. Five fingers. Here we go. Johnny had five friends, five friends, five friends. Johnny had five friends. Johnny had six. Nice job. Give yourselves a round of applause. Very nice. I have a couple more finger plays that we're going to do today. The next one is called Five Little Ladies. And it starts by <clears throat> taking your right hand and tapping it on your thigh. Okay? That's how we start, and you can just follow Miss Ashley's hands. Ready? Five little ladies. Here we go. Five little ladies going for a walk. Five little ladies stopping for a talk. Now we're going to use our other hand this time on our thigh while leaving this one right here. Along came five little gentlemen. They all danced together and that made 10. Five plus five is 10. All right, Miss Ashley's gonna do it again. This time, your job is to say 10 at the end. All right, so that's your job. Ready? Here we go. Five little ladies going for a walk. Five little ladies stopping for a talk. Along came five little gentlemen. They all danced together and that made 10. Very good, give yourselves a round of applause. Very nice. I'm gonna do one more finger play today. This happens to be a favorite among my students, I've noticed. Um, it's called Chop, Chop, Chippity Chop. Um, and I always ask my students, what kind of food do you wanna make today? They usually pick like a salad or something like that. And then I'll ask them, what do we put in a salad? Lettuce goes in a salad, right? So pretend you're putting lettuce on your chopping block. You're gonna hold your hand out like this. 
Your other hand is going to chop the lettuce, okay? So you're just going to follow Miss Ashley's hand till I say the finger play. Ready? Here we go. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Nice. And so I'll ask again, what else do we see in a salad? Some people say cucumbers, some people say tomatoes, cheese, you can think of whatever you want. What do you like in your salad? And put that on your chopping block. Ready? Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Nice job. Think of one more thing to put in your salad. Miss Ashley's going to pick, let's say, cucumbers. So Miss Ashley's gonna put a cucumber on her chopping block. You can put whatever you would like on your chopping block. If you like cucumbers in your salad, you can do that. If you like tomatoes in your salad, you can do that. If you like croutons or cheese or whatever else, you can put that, even fruit sometimes, people put fruit in their salad. So you choose, and this is our last one, ready? Chop, chop, chippity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, chippity chop. Very good, give yourselves a round of applause. That one's very fun, <laughs> I like that one too. Um, next, we're gonna do something, it's called Razzmatazzma. It's actually a recording that I'm gonna play for you guys, and it has a lot of fun moves with it as well. I find that my preschool class really likes this one, so. Let me get my song ready here, and then we'll do Razzmatazzma. All right, ready? <laughs> Ashley's fingers. Ready? And her hands. Ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Nice job. Let's try it one more time. We start by doing this with our hands. Try it. Ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Lovely, here's the next one. It starts by walking your fingers up your body. Ready? Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your mouth real wide. 
but do not let them in. Ready, one more time. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your mouth real wide, but do not let them in. Nice job. One more time for open, shut them. Ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Nice job. Give yourself another round of applause. Very nice. All right, I think that's it for this lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Um, stay safe out there, stay healthy. Um, and then we're going to have more videos coming soon. So thank you.